Hi, I'm Gordon. I live in South Carolina. And let's see, the first time I voted in an election was in 1976. I voted for Gerald Ford and I have voted 95% Republican every year up and down the ballot ever since that point. Uh, I'm actually a native New Yorker, lived in New York until about three years ago. Uh, you know, as a New Yorker, um, I've been listening to Donald Trump shoot his mouth off about things for 35 going on 40 years now, probably. And it's always been the same thing. He brags, he boasts, he tells you how huge his buildings are and how incredible his hotels are. And the bottom line is he never really says anything. And as a politician, he's never had a plan for anything. He's got no plan for health care. He's got no plan for the virus. Nothing. He makes stuff up as he goes along. And that's not acceptable from a from a president, not by a long shot. Um, in the last couple of weeks, we've had the Woodward article come out. We know that he lied to us about the virus. We've had the Atlantic article come out. So we know what he really, really thinks about our soldiers, our people in uniform, people who have made the ultimate sacrifice, been wounded, been captured. We know what he felt about McCain. John McCain was one of my favorite guys, um, also a big fan of George Herbert Walker Bush. I thought he was a wonderful, wonderful president. I was really disappointed that Mitt Romney did not get elected. I thought he would have been a terrific president. This time, uh, when as soon as I can get my hand on a ballot, I am going to vote for Joe Biden for president. I will do that without any hesitation. I think he will make a very fine president. And I think he can do a lot to bring our country together and stop the chaotic madness that comes from Donald Trump as president. Trump is not acceptable. He's not qualified. To me, Donald, the name Donald Trump has always been more of a punchline than anything serious. So uh, that's my two cents. I hope you're all with me.